Let's get it. Welcome back, guys. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the On The Ball City with Norris City in the Premier League. Today, we're going to be showing you the games against Wolves and Liverpool. So far, we've played very, very well in the Premier League. As you can see, we sit seventh in the league. We've had a bit of a dip in form. It's not been very good since the last episode. I played a few games offline and they weren't the best of games in the world, but we're going to go through them. We'll run, run you through them and then we'll play the next two games on the save. So we'll start off with the 0-0 draw at Tottenham. I don't think a 0-0 draw at Tottenham or at home to Tottenham is too bad. It's a pretty good result considering they, I think they were top of the league and we were second or third at the, that point. So we'll go there and we'll show you the match stats and see how we got on. Tottenham did dominate the game. They had the better chances. They had a player sent off in the 82nd minute and we did push on for the winner, but we didn't quite get one. A lot of bookings. Only two shots on target for us. Not a great result in the end, but we'll take it. Uh, the next game was away to Brighton and it was a 1-1 draw. We probably deserved the win. We played a lot better than they did. They got a uh, goal in the 33rd minute from Leandro Trossard, cancelling out Emi Buendia's opener. Emi Buendia has been absolutely magnificent for us this season, so absolutely GG to him. Uh, a game we played about 5-10 to 10 minutes ago, a 1-1 one, one draw in the Carabao Cup to Manchester City. Kyle Walker with the opening goal on the 24th minute. Emi Buendia again, 36 minute equaliser, and then we lost on penalties. I was so devastated because at one point we had, if we had a scored a penalty, we'd have won. Moritz Leitner missed his penalty. Uh, Savage, no, Otamendi scored his. Tribal missed his when it was in, in like added on time or sudden death. Sorry, sudden death. And then Tribal missed his, so we went out on the Carabao Cup. We probably didn't deserve to go through in the game anyway. But that's three games without a win. Not good. Today we're at home to Wolves. Same team as I've been playing. I brought in Amadou recently because Tribal wasn't playing as well as I'd like him to. Uh, Godfrey on the left-hand side there. That is the team there. Nothing's really changed. We're going to jump straight into it and see how we can get on against Wolves. I'm hoping we can bounce back with a win today because we really need it. I don't want the morale to drop too much. There is the Wolves lineup. Patricio, Ryan Bennett, Bolly, uh, Jesus Valaho. Adama Trouray, Johnny, um, Roman Sace, Ruben Neves, Jean Martino, Patrick Ritrone, and Diogo Yota up top. So we're going to go out for that. Hopefully we can get a win. I think, yeah, we're at home today. I'm hoping we can get a win. I really, really do hope we can get a win. I'm not sure where Wolves are in the league. They're top. Okay. This could be interesting then. So let's just see how we get on. I think I still want to win. I don't care if they're top. We're dominating position early on. Had the first shot of the game. Who's going to get the first highlight of the game? That is the question, though. Not a lot going on at the minute. In the first 15 minutes, we're going to demand a bit more from them. Come on, boys. We can, we can get a win here. This would be a huge, huge win if we could take a three points off Wolves. That would really put a dent in their, I'm assuming, Europa League challenge. Because I don't think... Well, Champions League challenge, maybe. I'm not sure they're going to get top four by the end of the season. I mean, we're only... What is this? This is only the 11th game. So still a long, long way to go. As the game's not even happened, got anything going on, we're at the magic 20-point mark. We're not even halfway through the season. I'm pretty sure we're going to stay up. But honestly, the first highlight in the 45th minute. Not the most exciting of games. We're on extended highlights as well. We're, we've even come down to extended from key highlights and there's nothing happening. If we, I mean, if we concede here from the first highlight, I'm not going to be too happy. I mean, if we score from it, oh my god, they didn't, let, didn't even let us counter attack. I'm going to, I'm going to tell them I'm disappointed. I'm, I'm far from pleased from that. That's not a good half. We need to improve. We need to have a shot. We haven't even made a half chance in 45 minutes. No, neither have they though, and they've had lot more long shots than us. We've not actually had a long shot. We've only had one shot on target in that half. Wow, we're really not performing. It's that left, that left wing position and the attacking midfield position. Stevenman and Campwell, they're not doing very well recently. I've tried Emmy Brendier and Emmy Brendier is now on the ball. Out, Aaron's Lewis. It's on target. There we go. There we go. That's a, that's a, that's a kind of a chance. We're going to get Stevenman off. I'm not enjoying the number ten here. I think what we're going to do, we're going to bring Vrancic in. Can we play Vrancic as a Mazala? I feel like he could do a job as a Mazala. Or maybe we push Leitner forward a little bit. And we have a DLP and an advanced playmaker. Possibly with Amadou dropping into here. 
We're going to slow down the tempo. And we're going to work the ball into the box so we don't have any too many long shots. I'm going to see how that works. Because at the minute, we're not performing how we was at the start of the season. So we need to tweak things a little bit. Teams obviously will start to work us out. And then you've got to react to that. You've got to overcome these problems. Wendy on the right. Crosses. Timmy Pookie. Campwell Pookie. Get in there. 1-0. I'm not sure if I should change it now. No, no. I'm sticking with my gut instinct. I know we're 1-0 up, but I'm going to go with it. That's Timmy Pukki's ninth goal of the season. That man is banging in the goals. Him and Buendia on this game this year are very, very good players. I'm sure a lot of you have probably used him already. Because a lot of people... I've seen a lot of Norwich saves going around at the minute on YouTube and Twitch. Not a great amount, but a few. But here, João Martinho with the corner. Swings it in. Goes all the way through. Max Aarons is going to clear it. No highlight there. I mean, we've got half an hour left. We're dominating possession. We're up to fifth in the league. And Wolves have dropped down to second at this point. We're doing very well here. I don't feel like I need to say too much. I'm going to leave it now. Leitner swings in. Zimmerman off the line from Valaho. Oh, my God. How close was that? That is inches away from going in and being 2-0. So, so unlucky. Zimmerman nearly with his first goal of the season, I believe. Ten minutes left. We're going to start time-wasting a little bit. Here we go. Lewis throws it in. Vrancic. Lewis. Down the line to Timo Puki. Can he do anything with it? He's inside the Vrancic. Leitner. Oh, great through ball to Cantwell. What a goal by Norris City. Todd Cantwell, second goal of the season. As you can see, a beautiful threaded through ball by Moritz Leitner there. Since the update, I've seen a lot more of these. And look at this. Lightning is just literally so smart threading it through there. You wouldn't have seen many of them before this. But since the update that came out two days ago or the, yesterday, I can't remember when it was on the day of recording. That is beautiful. What a ball from Lightning. And what a finish from Campbell. That is 2-0 Norris City. It seems like we play better when we record. Maybe we should just record every game. Because that is absolutely brilliant. Beating top of the league Wolves. Buendia has picked up a knock. I know there's only a minute left, but there's no point rest, um, risking him. We might as well take him off, give him a little bit of a rest. The game's probably won by now. I'm wondering if we should bring uh, Moritz Leitner into the advanced playmaker role more often and put uh, Mario Vrancic back in the side. Because he's been in and around the team, but not ever started. But here's Lewis. Can we get a third? Campwell. Inside the Vrancic. Amadou. Has a dig. Nowhere near. Very, very wide. Emi Brandy has got a hell of a knock there. He's down a 38%. Not good at all. But we've dominated this game. We've absolutely dominated the game. We deserve, we deserve the win. Two half chances, two goals. I'm, I'm happy with the way we've played. Absolutely quality result. There we go, guys. A 2-0 win against top of the league Wolves. Goals from Timmy Puki and Todd Cantwell. I will see you guys for the next game in just a sec. Welcome back, guys. Welcome to the second game of the video. We beat Wolves. They were top of the league. We're now playing Liverpool. And now they're top of the league. Not ideal. Can we get two scalps in two games? Let's see. This is the team we've gone for. We've changed it around to what we had in the end of the last game. So we've gone for Vrancic and Leitner in midfield. The two playmaker roles of Amadou sitting a little bit. We're going to drop it down to lower tempo again. Just to see how we can do. Uh, I'm going to go cautious because I imagine Liverpool are going to dominate the ball against us. They've got a lot better players. You never know though. We might be able to pull something off. I don't know. We'll see. Who have they got in their team? So they're going to line up today with Alisson in goal. Joe Gomez at right back. And James Milner at left back. So no Trent Alexander-Arnold or Andrew Robertson. Is that a positive for us? I don't know. I'm looking as well. They've got Oxlade-Chamberlain, Wijnaldum and Lalana. So no Henderson. Origi, Shakiri, and Firmino. They've got no Mane and Salah either. So Trent, Andy Robertson, Mane and Salah all out today for Liverpool. Can we sneak something here? I'm not sure if they're not even playing. I actually have no idea. How do we, how do we find out if they're actually playing at all? They're not even on the bench. Henderson's on the bench, but Salah, Trent, all them players, none of them are on the bench. So maybe they're injured. Hopefully, fingers crossed, guys, we can get a win out of this while they're depleted. Jamal Lewis now. We're going to dip it onto... We're going to leave it on extended highlights just for now. We might have to change it if it is going too slow and the game's taking too long. Shakiri is in. 
Good save by Tim Krull. Lewis clears for a corner early on. Early chance for Liverpool. Only a half chance. Not a, not a clear cut. We're fine at the minute. Corner swung in. Vrancic heads clear. Back to Shakiri. Whips it in. Origi's there. Inches wide. Another massive chance for Liverpool there. That was a clear cut chance in my eyes. He should have been scoring there. Lovely playing out of the back there. Look at that. Breaking the press. Emi Buendia is away now. Can he give it to Puki? He goes to Jamal Lewis. Campwell on target. Allison saves. But Liverpool are going to press hard now. They're on the counter-attack. Aarons wins the ball back, though. Oh, no highlight. Buendia's free kick. Swung in. Timu Puki with a header and a great save from Allison. That is a chance. Should have been a goal. Leitner swings the corner in. Milner away. Amadou. Back to Leitner. Swung in again. It's going to be cleared away. Liverpool are going to get the ball out of the area. And that is going to be end of the highlight. Shakiri's going to whip another free kick in there. A lot of uh, set pieces being taken here. They've hit the post. Honestly, there could have been three goals in the first seven minutes here. This is going to be a very tight game, I can tell. We're breaking their press fairly well so far, though. We're playing out of defence really calmly. And we're, do we're doing all right. Not many mistakes have been made. But they're, they're pressing quite hard. And we're hitting them on the counter very well. Leitner. Back to Aaron's. Goes down the byline inside to Emi Buendia. Oh, another tame shot straight to Allison. Look how quick they are getting the ball back out to their strikers. We need to be very careful of that. Ball over the top for Emi Buendia. He's behind Milner. One on one with him now. Corner ball to Norwich City. Can we create anything from this corner, corner ball situation? Probably not. Leitner swings it in. Timmy Puki. Van Dijk's going to win that all day. A long ball forward. So Liverpool here they come on the counter again. Great tackle from Jamal Lewis. We are going to go to key highlights because there's there's a lot of highlights in this game. It's a bit end-to-end -end at the minute. So we're just going to dip it back down or up to key highlights and just see how the game goes there. Any Buendia has been booked, so we're going to tell him to ease off tackles. We don't want to be getting anyone red-carded. Okay, now we've gone to key highlights. Nothing's happening and we've got no highlights. Can't win, guys. You can't win. We're going to stick with key highlights for the rest of it, though, because it seems to go quicker and smoother. I don't want the video to be 25 minutes long. Here we go. Liverpool chance, possibly. Headed away by Amadou. Can we counter? No. Why are you kicking it there? There's literally no one in a yellow shirt over there. Wijnaldum to Gomez. Amadou heads away. Oh, we just can't get the ball under control and counter-attack. Every time we get a touch on it, it's going straight back to them. All right, here we go. Counter-attack for Norwich. Emi Buendia. Zimmerman. I'm just going to stop talking. He's got to be offside, ref. I've never seen a key highlight end in an offside. That was very, very, very pathetic. Right, not a bad half. We've actually had more possession, which I'm very surprised about. Uh, I'm going to tell them I'm happy with that. I am going to go off cautious and go to balanced. I want to try and be a bit more positive and go for a goal. I don't want to sit back and just wait for them to score. Dangerous frick. Why is Van Dyke taking this? Oh my God, that's why. That's Lovren. What is Van Dyke's free kick taken? 13. Apparently, he's the uh, free kick taker instead of Shakiri. Van Dyke. Oh, good header from Zimmerman. Campwell to Buendia. That's better. Don't rush. Hold it up. Okay, don't just go down the line. Just go around everyone. Throw into Norris City. Lightner has been quite error prone. Oh, he's been er very error prone. 6.3. Get off. we we'll swap them round. So Vrancic can go as the advanced playmaker and then Tribal can come in as a DLP. Todd Cantwell again, not having a great game. He is um, very inconsistent, to say the least. He is quite young still, so we will let him off. Lovely play out of the back there uh, from Liverpool. Chamberlain's going to bring it forward. Ball over the top to Firmino. He's behind the defence. Great save from Tim Krull. Still nil-nil. It's a corner to Liverpool. Bring it round to the cost here a little bit, I feel. Play it forward now. Great ball. Puki, why are you not ready for that, buddy? Catmull not playing great. We might have to get him off. We have got people to bring him on for. I'll take him off for, sorry. Gomez wins the head of Lalana. Oh, my God. I see Lalana has got a little injury symbol over his head. So we're going to go hard on him. I'm trying to injure him. I don't want to injure an English player like that, but... If you're playing against Norwich, there's no, no holding back. Divcock, Origi, 
banging in the header. 1 0 Liverpool from a corner. It's like Norwich in real life. Just cannot defend set pieces. Todd Cantwell, off you come, buddy. Uh, we're going to put Patrick Roberts on there. I feel like he'd be better as an inside forward out there. We're going to try and come back from this. We're going to demand a bit more. Because we, we haven't been very good today. We've not been very calm on the ball. We've not really had that many chances. The couple of chances we've had have been very tame efforts. It's, it's not good. Wendia now, the most influential player for Norwich. Lovely play from Norwich there. That's better. Max Ahrens inside. Oh, he switches the ball and loses it. We've got shorter passing on. Why are you doing that? They score from this. It's done. 2-0. That is probably game over, guys. I mean, they want to play more direct. Go for it. They clearly want to go long, so I will let them. We'll see what happens. We'll even pass into the space, see, because they keep doing that as well. Lewis, go on. Surely he's got the beating of him. Good ball in. Team of Pookie's there. Lovren heads away. Oh, Firmino, great touch. Goes round him. He's clean through. Should be three. It is 3-0. Game over. We are getting absolutely dominated at this point. We always knew it was going to be hard against Liverpool. We're still fifth in the league. Only six points behind Liverpool. So if you take the win off them, we're, we're very close to the top of the league at this point. I don't think we're going to get anything today. I think it could be all over. Not four. Please don't make it four. Can we just get a goal? Oh my god, let's just give it straight back to him. I mean, when you have a corner come in and you just head it straight back to him like Emmy Buendia just did there, you've got to expect the cross to come back in. Like, what was he doing? Here, look. He's literally just put it on a plate for Shakiri to cross it. Great header from Origi. 4 0 Liverpool. Absolutely pathetic performance by Norwich. We're going to just drop it a cautious. I don't want it to be five. It's about to be five. Thank, thank the Lord for me and I missed that. Absolute domination. How cruel has got a 7.3 and Amadou's got a 7.5 today? I do not know. But there we go, guys. That is going to be the end of the episode. Absolutely shocking performance. I know the Liverpool are a good side, but that was very uncharacteristic of what we've done this season. But we go again next episode, guys. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you did, like and subscribe. You can also catch me on Twitch over at twitch.tv forward slash looneyhoon. I stream four to five days a week over there. I'm about to start a new save on the day of recording and the day of uploading. So if you want to go over there and check it out, go hit the follow button over there as well. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys, and I'll see you soon.